Imagine a telescope so powerful that it can detect frozen water hundreds of trillions of kilometers away. A telescope that, when pointed at the stars, reveals secrets that could help us understand how life began on our own planet. Have you ever stopped to think how a tiny grain of ice in a disk surrounding a young star might hold clues about the origin of entire oceans? What does it mean to find frozen water in a newborn solar system? Could this discovery teach us something about how life formed on Earth? Recently, astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope made an astonishing discovery. They found particles of frozen water in the debris disk around the star HD 181327. This star is located about 155 light years from Earth, a distance so vast that its light takes more than a century and a half to reach us. But what does this mean in practical terms? The debris disk that surrounds this star is essentially a ring of dust and gas filled with tiny bits of ice and rock. It's a kind of cosmic nursery where planets might be forming at this very moment. And by detecting frozen water in this disk, astronomers found a direct link to the theories about the origin of water on rocky planets like Earth. It might sound simple, frozen water in space, but think about it. Water is essential for life as we know it. For a long time, scientists have wondered where all the water that covers three quarters of Earth's surface came from. It is believed that it arrived through impacts from comets and asteroids during a period of intense bombardment billions of years ago, bringing both water and organic compounds to our planet. The ice detected around HD 181327 may be the key to better understanding this process. It shows that frozen water is present in planet-forming disks around other stars, confirming that this mechanism could be common throughout the universe. The discovery was made using the extraordinary sensitivity of the James Webb Space Telescope to detect infrared radiation. That's because ice, being extremely cold, emits radiation in wavelengths that are invisible to the human eye, but that Webb can capture with incredible precision. The data reveal that this water ice is distributed in the coldest regions of the debris disk, precisely where icy planets might begin to form. This helps us understand not only how water arrived on Earth, but also how other solar systems might evolve in a way similar to our own. This kind of discovery is not only fascinating from an astronomical perspective, it also helps us understand how planets form around stars like the Sun. The star HD 181327 is very similar to the Sun in its early stages. This means that what we are observing there might closely resemble what happened here billions of years ago, when Earth was still taking shape. What's more, the detection of frozen water in such young systems reinforces the idea that the delivery of water by icy bodies, like comets, is a common phenomenon, not something unique to our own solar system. Now imagine the magnitude of this discovery. For the first time, we are witnessing in detail the raw material that could one day form oceans on distant worlds. We are literally seeing the beginning of a planet's story. It's like having a time machine that lets us go back to the opening chapters of our own history. These ice particles are like cosmic time capsules, preserving what happened at the dawn of planetary systems. They might contain chemical clues about the conditions under which planets form, and possibly even organic compounds essential for life. You might be wondering, how can the James Webb Space Telescope detect ice from 155 light years away? The answer lies in the incredible technology it carries on board. The James Webb can detect infrared radiation emitted by cold objects in space, such as ice particles. It can perceive signals that are invisible to the human eye, but that Webb can capture with incredible precision. This data reveal that this water ice is distributed in the coldest regions of the debris disk, precisely where icy planets might begin to form. This helps us understand not only how water arrived on Earth, but also how other solar systems might evolve in a way similar to our own. This kind of discovery makes us dream. It makes us imagine that, somewhere among the stars, there might be planets with oceans like ours, clouds carrying water to their surfaces, feeding rivers and lakes we may never see. 
Every time we find ice in a young system, it feels like we're hearing a whisper from the universe saying, life might be more common than we think. But can we find more systems like this? Are there other systems with debris disks full of ice and organic material? The answer is yes. James Webb is only beginning its observations. In the coming years, it will target dozens of young stars like HD 181327, revealing the diversity and richness of planet-forming disks. And if water, this essential ingredient for life, is truly abundant in the universe, what does that tell us about our own existence? Perhaps deep down, we're not that special. Maybe we're just one piece in a much larger cosmic mosaic where life arises whenever the conditions are right. Or perhaps this only reinforces how incredibly lucky we are to exist on a blue planet, bathed by oceans formed from tiny ice particles that one day traveled across interstellar space. This discovery of frozen water around a young star shows us that the fundamental building blocks of life are scattered throughout the cosmos, that even in the coldest and darkest regions of space, there is hope that someday these tiny grains of ice might transform into oceans, rivers, and maybe even into forms of life. So far, we've explored how the detection of frozen water around the star HD 181327 is a fascinating clue about the origin of water on planets like Earth. But this raises an even more intriguing question. If this water is everywhere, could there be worlds as blue as ours scattered across the universe? After all, what stops us from imagining that beyond our small blue dot, there are oceans shimmering under the light of distant stars? The discovery of frozen water in HD 181327 is just the tip of the iceberg, literally. That's because the James Webb Space Telescope still has much more to reveal. With each new observation, we're left wondering, what if there are hundreds, even thousands of young stars with icy disks? And what if within these disks, planets emerge that are covered by seas and lakes as vast as our own? This vision of the cosmos transports us into a future where water, and perhaps even life, could be something common, not a rarity. But frozen water doesn't tell the whole story. Alongside it, in these debris disks, there may be complex organic molecules, the building blocks of life. Compounds like methane, ammonia, and even amino acids could be hiding within those frozen particles, ready to combine and form something even greater. When astronomers find water in young systems, their curiosity grows. Could these frozen regions also hold the ingredients for the chemistry of life? Could these particles travel from one system to another, seeding life along the way? The James Webb Space Telescope will continue to explore these icy regions, but it's not alone. New missions are already being planned to scan the far reaches of the cosmos, like ESA's aerial mission, which will study the atmospheres of exoplanets, and NASA's Roman mission, which will hunt for giant exoplanets in distant systems. And who knows? Maybe very soon, we will detect entire oceans on distant worlds, confirming that water is not just a privilege of Earth. Water holds a poetic role in the story of the cosmos. It is the universal solvent, the substance that flows, connects, and perhaps inspires life. By discovering ice water around a young star, we are witnessing a cosmic dance that began billions of years before we ever existed. This dance unfolds on scales that challenge our imagination, trillions of kilometers, billions of years. And yet, in some way, it connects us directly to those distant worlds. Because, in the end, all the water we drink and see in our rivers, lakes, and oceans began as tiny grains of ice traveling through space until they reached here. If water is present in so many systems, then perhaps life is a universal phenomenon. Maybe we are not the exception, but the rule. And that perspective changes everything. How we see ourselves, our planet, and our place in the universe. Imagine if we could travel to HD 181327 and see with our own eyes that icy disk glowing around the star. Imagine being able to touch those ice particles, feel the chill of the primordial universe, see the dust and grains that may one day become planets and possibly homes for life forms as diverse as anything we can imagine.
That's why astronomy is so fascinating. Every new discovery is like opening a door to an even greater universe. When we look up at the sky, we're not just admiring distant stars, we're exploring possibilities, reimagining life and our place in the cosmos. The James Webb Telescope and the missions that will follow it are like cosmic beacons, illuminating the paths that lead to the origins of water, of life, and ultimately, of who we are. The discovery of frozen water around a young star can teach us something precious. Life is adaptable and may arise in places we never imagined. With every new ice particle detected, with every new star observed, we get closer to answering the question that echoes in the heart of every explorer. Are we alone in the universe? In the end, the greatest lesson we can take from all this is that water knows no borders. It emerges wherever it can, wherever the environment allows. And just as water flows, so too should we flow, with curiosity, exploration, and an endless drive to seek and question. If this journey through the cosmos inspired you as much as it inspired me, subscribe to the channel right now. Here, every video is an invitation to gaze at the stars and marvel at all the wonders the universe still has to show us. Thank you for joining me on this cosmic journey, and remember, the stars keep shining, and each grain of ice in space may hold the secret to a future where life flourishes everywhere. Until the next video, where together we'll keep exploring the mysteries of the universe.